Go does not handle errors the same way that languages like Java, JavaScript, and Python do. JavaScript, for example, uses a try-catch paradigm. Let's pretend we have a function called getUser. We probably need to wrap the call to getUser in a try block because it's a function that might throw an error. For example, maybe the user doesn't exist. And in that case, the catch block runs instead. Now, Go does not have try catch blocks. Instead, it just returns errors like it does any other value. If everything goes well, the error is nil. We continue to the next lines of code, just like normal. In this example, if something does go wrong, the error variable, usually called error, will not be nil. So we just handle the error, say by printing it and returning early. But if everything does go well, then the error will be nil. And it means we can just continue to the next lines of code. For example, maybe we want to get a user's profile picture based on their ID. So we call that function that also can return an error. So again, we handle the error either by bailing or just continuing. There are no exceptions or throwing. We just have a simple conditional check, an if statement. So functions that can fail in Go return an error value as their last return value and we as the caller of the function are just expected to check it. Now, there are two main reasons I prefer Go's method of error handling over try catch. The first is it makes for a really straightforward control flow. There's no magic that jumps us out of a block that we are in, like the throw keyword does. The code just executes line by line, even when things go wrong. And second, it's explicit. You can see that a function might return an error just by looking at its return type. In JavaScript, the return type does not tell you whether a function might throw an error or not. You just kind of have to know. In Go, you can't ignore potential errors unless you really go out of your way to do so.